So, recall in the <coughs> previous class we were discussing uh, two important uh, theorems, one is Poincare Van Dixon theorem. and another one is Lenard's theorem. So, both give sufficient conditions uh, for the existence of periodic orbits in 2D. Okay. Let me stress that again, these are very 2D specific theorems and this is applicable for uh, 2D systems of first order equations and this one second order equation f double dot plus f x f dot plus g x equal to 0 uh, under certain conditions on f and g which we stated uh, in the previous class. So, Lenard's theorem <coughs> proved that there exist unique periodic orbit surrounding the only uh, equilibrium point 0 0 and all other non trivial orbits. So, here the trivial orbit is only the equilibrium solution, all other non trivial orbits uh, tend to this periodic orbit. as t tends to infinity. Okay. So, that is an <coughs> important conclusion of this Lenard's theorem. Okay. Today, <coughs> we will discuss another class of equations, where the phase plane analysis can be done somewhat easily and we obtain a complete phase portrait of 2 D systems. And these are termed as conservative equations we will shortly see why this name conservative equations and these are <coughs> again second order equations of the form x double dot plus d by d x of v x equal to 0. Okay. So, this <coughs> uh, function v is assumed to be smooth, the function v uh, is called the potential function. Okay, so, the terminology again comes from classical mechanics. So, consider this quantity. So, if x is a solution of that conserved second order equation, consider this quantity f dot t square plus v x. Okay. <coughs> and using, so if, if, so let me call this uh, as e t e of t. So, so, f t is a solution of that equation. So, this represents 
kinetic energy and this represents potential energy. Okay. So, this is the total energy at time t, total energy of the particle. So, if we differentiate this <coughs> E with respect to T, what we get is x dot T x double dot T plus using chain rule. So, we have this d by d x of V of x T times x dot And now x dot is common, and if you look at the other terms, x double dot t plus d by dx of vx of t, and that is zero by the equation. So what we are seeing by this simple calculation that total energy is conserved. So it is the same for all t. So therefore, e t is identically equal to E a constant for all t. So, this is the reason why that second order equation is called a conservative equation. So, and <coughs> uh, the position x t and velocity x dot t okay, these are called uh, as phases of the particle. Okay, again terminology comes from mechanics. So, <coughs> when you do analysis involving phases that is phase plane analysis and when we describe uh, the position and velocity for all time and that is described as phase portrait. Okay. So, that is phase, phase plane analysis these are the terminology coming from this. It is plane because there is only position and velocity. So, it is two dimensional phase plane analysis phase portrait refer to this analysis and description of all the orbits and that is what we are going to do for some simple examples. So, again the key uh, equation is the following. So, this is the key equation okay, this half x dot t square plus v of x of t is equal to e and this is remember a constant. Okay. And this since this term is always non negative, okay, so this v has to be less than or equal to e. So, for different levels of this we will see how this phase portrait will change and so once we are given this potential function and this different uh, energy levels e we take and that will restrict the values of x and then we use this key equation to analyze the behavior of x t and x, x dot t okay that's the position and velocity uh, of the particle Okay. So, we will we'll explain with through simple examples how this is done examples. Okay. The first example is pendulum equation. So, we are not adding any force. So, this is unforced and there is no damping. So, this is undamped. Okay. 
Okay. So, this is the equation x double dot plus k sin x equal to 0. So, k is some fixed cost, okay. k is a positive cost. Okay. So, this can be written as a conservative equation. So, by so take uh, there are many choices and I will explain why this particular choice. So, this uh, <coughs> you take V x is equal to k into 1 minus. So, you can always add a constant to the potential function without changing the equation okay. and that constant can add it in such a way to achieve some simplification uh, for the potential function. Okay. So, here you see that uh, since it is 1 minus cos x, so I have added this constant otherwise it is just minus k cos x, I, uh, we can also take that one. I have added k here just to make this potential function non-negative for all x. Okay. So, then the equation becomes x double dot plus d by d x of v x equal to 0 okay. and therefore, the key equation in this situation is uh, so half x dot t square plus v x is equal to cost. So, remember this is constant okay. and our v is given by this. Okay. So, remember this equation. So, that is what we are going to do now. Uh, so, let me draw this potential function as a function of x and let us see how it looks like. Okay. So, this is the function v of x, v of x is uh, given here. Okay. So, remember this is v of x and the graph of v of x suggests that we take uh, these different energy levels E equal to 0 and then E between 0 and 2 k and then E equal to 2 k and then finally, E bigger than 2 k. Okay. This graph itself suggests and uh, so let us take one by one. So, just observe carefully. So, let us start with E equal to 0. E equal to 0 You know that again the key equation you remember that half of x dot t square plus v of x t equal to e and now we are taking e equal to 0 and so and v will be 0 only at these points. Okay. These are all even multiples of pi and x dot will be 0 because of that conservative key equation. Okay. So, here we obtain all equilibrium points to n pi 0 and n integer. So, all even multiples of pi we obtain at this energy level important to remember that E equal to 0 we are taking now. So, x dot is 0 there and we obtain these equilibrium points of the system. Okay. So, what about 0 less next level? The next level 0 E less than 2 k and now if you see observe the graph of v, so, the values of x 
will be restricted to these portions. Okay. So, these are symmetric intervals around each of these equilibrium points 2 n pi 0, okay, they are around that and okay. now x value is restricted only to that interval. So, you can explicitly calculate what this point is, okay. that is not difficult thing. you can. So, it is strictly in the interval here minus pi pi and similarly it will be in different intervals. So, since all are uh, have similar structure, so let us calculate, let us concentrate around this interval g that 0, the equilibrium point 0 and corresponding to that uh, values of x, we obtain periodic orbits which are exhibited here. Okay, and arrow is this. Okay, so we obtain the periodic orbits when zero e is less than two. Okay. So obtain. So let me write here. Periodic orbits around. Each two n pi zero around each equilibrium point uh, two n pi zero. So here I have just shown it around zero zero, and same thing happens at all other points. Okay, and next when you go to this energy level e equal to two k. Okay, that's the next level. And here we do not have any restriction on x uh, just to the uh, point that see now in this case first we obtain we obtain equilibrium points two uh, n plus one by zero. Okay, so n again an integer, which we did not obtain in the energy level zero. Now with energy level e equal to two k, we obtain all this. These are the equilibrium points. Okay, odd multiples of two pi, and now if we start an orbit at a point different from this uh, equilibrium point and this is what we get. Okay. So, this is the I am uh, this uh, okay. I just uh, this is the one. Actually, there are two orbits, both approaching uh, two different equilibrium points. Okay, the upper one is as t increases, the arrow is marked like that, and the bottom one is like this because in the upper portion x dot is positive, so x is increasing, and in the uh, bottom orbit x dot is negative. So, it is uh, approaching it going to uh, minus pi as uh, t tends to infinity. So, we obtain addition to this thing we obtain two orbits okay. and together they are referred to as. So, here I highlighted it. So, homo clinic is not there, so, let me it is a separatrix as it is going to separate 
two kinds of orbits, and the final one e bigger than two k, and there is absolutely uh, no restriction on uh, the values of x, and from the key equation you also see that in this case. Uh, e bigger than 2k, let me write that. You also see that from the key equation x dot t square is always bigger than or equal to, there is half, okay, let me write that half e minus 2k and now e is bigger than 2k, so this is always positive. So, the x dot t is always bounded away from 0. So, either it is always positive or again always negative. So, that is why you get two orbits. So, one here is since x dot is positive. So, x is going in that direction and the bottom one is in this direction. So, in this case for the undamped unforced uh, pendulum equation, we obtain a complete phase portrait of these orbits, several orbits we see that. So, there are period again let me repeat it. So, for there are four energy levels that to be considered in this case. So, E equal to 0 we obtain all equilibrium points uh, which are even multiples of pi and 0 and for the energy level 0 less than E less than 2 k we obtain periodic orbits around each of the equilibrium points 2 and pi 0 and for E equal to 2 k, we obtain uh, the equilibrium points the which are odd multiples of pi and uh, we are in addition to that, we also obtain two orbits and they are around each this is important. So, the same picture happens at all other points, okay. so that is important. It is not just restricted to this 0, the same thing you repeat it to other points, other 2 n multiples of uh, even multiples of pi. And uh, for E bigger than 2 k, we obtain unbounded solutions and uh, either the solution is always increasing or always decreasing and as shown in the picture. second example. So, this is again unforced undamped duffing equation. So, earlier we have discussed about this thing and now we are taking the undamped duffing equation. And this is again second order equation given by uh, so there is x dot term is missing that is the damp one so we are taking delta equal to zero okay so here we take looking at the equation we take v x so here we are not going to add any constant so just to keep it like that x square by two plus x 4 by 4. Okay. So, with this potential function the given equation is written as x dot plus d by d x uh, of v x equal to 0. So, therefore, we have the key equation again x dot t square. So, any solution will satisfy this. Uh, this is a constant. Okay. So, <coughs> before drawing the face portrait, so let me just spend a few minutes on this potential function, so that the uh, explanation of phase portrait will be very clear. Okay. Okay. So here the V x 
is minus x square by 2 plus x 4 by 4. Okay. So, this is symmetric <coughs> in x v of x is equal to v of minus x okay, and uh, quickly draw I am showing this more in the next picture. So, this is just v here. Okay. So, this is a 0 here and then if you solve this thing you have 2 more zeros minus root 2 and plus root 2 and this is negative here 0 here. Okay. It is symmetric very smooth because it is a polynomial okay. just you can do that yourself. So, this minimum occurs. So, this is level minus quarter. Okay. So, this occurs at uh, plus 1 and this is minus 1 and recall that in this case we have 0 0 plus or minus 1 0 are the equilibrium points and you may recall the linear analysis we have done at this stage to understand the behavior of orbits very clearly this we have already done it. So, this 0 0 is always unstable and plus or minus 1 0 in this undamped case they are stable, but not asymptotically stable. So, you can recall that thing and the graph of phi suggests that the energy levels we are to consider e is equal to minus quarter and then we have this minus quarter less than e less than 0 and then we have e equal to 0 and e together. Okay. So, let me just for reference. So, this is the e equal to 0 level. Okay, and this one in anywhere in between. So, there are many. So, this is minus quarter less than e less than 0 and then we will have this x axis is also energy level 0 and the last one. So, anything above e bigger than 0. Okay. So, again in the like in the pendulum case we also have uh, <coughs> 4 energy levels and at e equal to 0 you only get. So, let me again see it here. So, this level we obtain only equilibrium solutions equilibrium points plus or minus 1 0. Okay. And when energy level is between minus quarter and 0, the values of x is restricted to this portion, it is called potential well in physics language. So, around each of this equilibrium points. So, they are around this plus or minus 1 0 okay. and again we obtain uh, periodic solutions around that and then at energy level 0 we do obtain this uh, equilibrium point 0 0 and then when we start the orbit at a different point we do obtain again separate tricks and when e is bigger than 0 again you see this value of x is restricted to this interval. Okay. This interval at that level, so it is restricted to that. So, again we obtain periodic solutions okay. and these are shown in the 
next picture. So, that that is what I am going to uh, show you. Okay. So, just remember this diagram, it is more elaborately done here. So, what we saw in the previous uh, picture, same thing is drawn here and say at energy level e equal to minus quarter, we obtain only the equilibrium points plus or minus 1 0 and then when the energy level is between minus quarter and 0, we obtain these periodic orbits. I am just showing one around each of this uh, equilibrium points plus or minus 1 0. Okay. So, this is minus 1 0 and that is uh, this is minus 1 0 and that is plus 1 0. And when energy level is exactly 0, apart from this uh, <coughs> equilibrium point 0 0, we do obtain the orbits one on the right side and another one. Okay. So, this is single orbit. Okay. So, let me just explain that. Okay. It is not periodic orbit that you should keep in mind because this is an equilibrium point. So, another one and the nature of these orbits clearly indicate that the origin is unstable and when again E is greater than 0 as I said. So, it is restricted to x is restricted to this interval and we obtain this. Okay, it's going in this direction. Okay, so that's the periodic orbit. So we have, in the case of undamped, unforced Duffing equation, we do have again uh, several different kinds of orbits. At one energy level, we get only uh, the equilibrium points. Okay, and then we get periodic orbits. Then we get separate tricks and then again periodic orbits. So, in the in the, in the previous example, we in the final thing we got only unbounded solutions, but here at uh, all levels we get only periodic orbits. So, that is a big difference. Uh, <coughs> so, let me just uh, make few remarks about this Duffing equation again. So, again here, so let me just uh, concentrate on this level energy level 0. Okay. So, we obtain, okay. so let me write that thing. Okay. Let us go to the next one. So, Duffing equation again. Okay. So, Duffing equation let me just call <coughs> uh, make a remark about that. So, we have again half f dot t square plus this let me write this x square by 2 plus everything else t x 4 t by 4 equal to 0. So, energy level 0 e is equal to okay. I am considering that particular energy level want to make a remark on that. So, first we obtain the equilibrium point Uh, 0 0. Okay, so, this let me just draw that. So, this is 0 0. 
So, if you start the orbit at a different point than this one, then we got so this <coughs> uh, let me draw that. So, for example, if I take x dot uh, positive, so we obtain this. Okay. So, this will go up to that root 2 okay, root 2 g f and similarly we obtain the other one here they are supposed to be symmetric huh? this the one okay. and the remark I want to make is the following. So, these are uh, so the, sorry. So, this orbit suppose it starts here, so it will make an entire round here and come back to the origin. It can come here only at infinity and you can see that as t goes to minus infinity also it goes to 0. So, this is equilibrium point. So, remember that. Okay. So, and similarly here if an orbit starts here it starts here it goes all the way around and again eventually goes to 0 as t goes to infinity and here also it goes to uh, <coughs> 0 as t goes to minus infinity. So, let me just draw this. Okay. So, both these orbits have the special property. So, these orbits, so let me now write these two orbits tend to the equilibrium point 0, 0 both as t tends to infinity and t tends to minus infinity. So, this is very special here and such orbits are called when an orbit tends to an equilibrium point both as t goes to infinity as well as t goes to minus infinity. See in the previous case that does not happen you can just see that in pendulum case that does not happen as t goes to infinity it goes to one equilibrium point and t goes to minus infinity it goes to another equilibrium point. Okay, it does not go to the same equilibrium point okay, and such orbits are called homoclinic orbits. Okay. So, in this case the Duffing equa uh, equation exhibits the existence of there are two homoclinic orbits and they corresponding to energy level 0. And again, when you go E positive, so this these are also now act as separatrix. Okay. So, these orbits separate a two kinds of periodic orbits, one inside this. So, we have here several, we saw that thing, there are several periodic orbits here and here around and above that we have this another periodic orbit. So, let me use different color. So, this is you saw that right. So, this corresponds to E positive and this these two orbits correspond to minus quarter less than E less than 0. Okay. So, for every E there we have a periodic orbit. Okay. So, that is fine. Okay. So, they are not difficult, but you have to just uh, work out uh, patiently in order to see the phase portrait of the orbits. Okay. So, with that thing, uh, we come to uh, end of this discussion 
on qualitative uh, theory of differential equations. So, before ending let me make few comments. So, this qualitative theory of differential equations uh, is a very important and quite deep subject. What we have done in the last few uh, lectures, we are we have been able to scratch the surface of this vast and important subject. Okay. So, if you understand this uh, properly, you will be able to read more advanced topics and there are excellent textbooks uh, providing that material. So, we have that we have included uh, in the references. So, you will be able to understand uh, much more advanced topics once you grasp this elementary knowledge. Thank you.